Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can retrieve data from a MySQL database using PHP. I have already established a MySQL connection. I'm going to include that file that establishes the connection. Then at the end of my script I will close that connection with the MySQL close function. The first thing we'll do is write an SQL query. I will store that within a variable named SQL. In my table I would like to select a user. Let's select SpongeBob. The query would look something like this. Let's select, let's say everything from our table, which I named users, where, if you don't write a where clause, your query is going to return more than one row. I'll show you how we can handle that later. Select all from users where user is equal to SpongeBob, but put that within single quotes. This is our SQL query. To make a query, we can use the mySQLI query function. We will pass in our connection object, then our query, SQL. If successful, this function will return an object. We will store that as a variable named result. So result is technically an object. Somewhere within this object, there's an associative array. To find how many rows are returned from our query function, we can place that within an if statement. We will use this function, my SQLI underscore num rows function. This function will return how many rows are within our result. Really, it should only be one in this example. If there's at least one result, we could write a condition such as if the number of rows is greater than zero, there's at least one matching row. To get that row from our result, let's store that within a variable named row, set this equal to the my SQLI underscore fetch underscore associ for associative, then pass in our result. This function returns the next available row within our object. Our row is an associative array. We can access this data by a key, then be returned one of the values. Let's echo our row at index of ID. Then I'll add a break afterwards. Let's see what we have. We have the user ID of one. Let's get the username. I think it's just user. One. SpongeBob, then the registration date, reg date. So these are the names of the columns. Yeah, here's SpongeBob's ID, his username, and the registration date. Those were the fields found within our table. Now, if there are no results, let's say we're looking for Sandy. Well, we don't do anything. Let's add an else clause. Else, let's echo no results found, or maybe no user found. No user found. That's how to retrieve one row from a table. What if you need to retrieve multiple rows? We can make some adjustments. We would want to utilize a loop. I'll enclose this line of code within a while loop. While there are rows, we will display each user's information. Let's get rid of the where clause. We will return every user. You would just need a looping structure of some sort to loop through each row within your result. All right, everybody. So that's how to query data from a database. You write an SQL query, use the query function. This returns an object. Then you'll need to get each row from the object. And then you can do that with this function. If you need to return more than one row, you can stick that within a loop, like a while loop. And that is how to query data from a MySQL database in PHP.